Happy Wednesday, Kenmore Alliance Church. My name is Adam, and I'm one of the pastors here, and uh, so glad that you are here to hang out with us again on a Wednesday. Does anyone else feel like you're in one of those prisoner movies uh, where you're constantly in your prison cell marking the days as we continue to march through this quarantine? You know, some of us have hit a wall, right? Maybe some of you in the beginning of this journey were like, I'm gonna do all these house projects. I'm gonna get everything fixed in my home. Everything's gonna be sparkling. But now we've kind of hit that place where we're like, I don't know how to do any more projects. <laughs> I'm kind of done uh, doing, doing those things. It's a, it's a bizarre time uh, that we're in. But what I want to share with you today is from, from the Gospels, a story about Jesus in the temple that I think is a really great reminder for us as we think about our own souls, as many of us have been thinking about our homes uh, going forward. So in Mark 11, 15 to 19, it says this, And they came to Jerusalem. And he entered the temple and began to drive out those who sold and those who bought in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold pigeons. And he would not allow anyone to carry anything through the temple. And he was teaching them and saying to them, Is it not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you have made it a den of robbers. You know, I, I think this is a really, this is a really powerful point and moment in Jesus' ministry. This is a moment where we see Jesus get angry. Right? He gets frustrated at the people in the temple. Taking the temple and utilizing it for something it was not intended to be. People began using it as a business venture. You know, they used it as an opportunity to take advantage and make money. You know, and, and that is not what God intended his temple to be like. And fast forward now into the, the world that we're in. Uh, a temple no longer is a building. It is a person. Right? If we're followers of Jesus, we have become temples of the Holy Spirit. We become temples of God's presence. And, and if we're really honest, oftentimes we don't think about the fact that we are a temple, right? We, we think about the, the fact that, you know, we, we do what makes ourselves feel good, we breathe, we do those things, we, we go about our lives. But the reality is that our bodies, our beings were bought with a price. Jesus gave his life on the cross as we just celebrated, you know, a couple weeks ago. We had opportunity to come around and, and celebrate the, the resurrected King and Jesus. You know, but he had to go to a cross. He, he bought our freedom. He bought our ability to have life and have it to its fullest. And so in this story, we see Jesus getting fed up. And, and I don't want us, the people of Kenmore Alliance Church and anyone else that's watching this, to get to a point where Jesus is fed up with our laziness, right? For honest, many of us in this, in this, in this journey of a, of a pandemic, of a quarantine, we've gotten pretty lazy. Right? We're sleeping in, some of us, especially my students. Right? We're playing video games a little bit too much. Or we're binge watching movies and shows and all sorts of things. But we need to ask ourselves, if, if Jesus were to walk through my temple right now, would he be happy what he sees? Would, would, he, be, would he be grateful that we were inviting him back again? Or would it be a, a weird kind of, one of those moments where you, when you were a kid and you had your, you know, your mom asked you to clean your room and you just chucked everything in the closet and just hoped uh, that, that he wouldn't check there. Well, that, that's the reality that for all of us as followers of Christ, we need to understand that God desires each of us to live lives that are pure, holy, and pleasing to him. We are his temples. We are his prayer furnaces. The things that he wants to do with us are so grand, and I know it feels so limiting right now. Our world is super bizarre. But I want you to understand that right now, we have an opportunity to continue to invest into our souls, continue to invest into the things that matter. And I don't know about you, but I want God, when, when he visits me, when he, when he hangs out here, when I invite him into my heart and we, we have a journey together, I want him to be able to look in there and clean up what he wants. Because here's the deal, if you're a follower of Jesus, your heart's under new management. We no longer have the same boss anymore. We're no longer a slave to sin. We are now a slave to a good master in Jesus Christ. And so, church, be encouraged today. Be encouraged to be people that are allowing Jesus to do some inventory. You know, we've been doing house projects. We've been working on different things around our homes. Let's start working on our, our souls. Let's start working on what's inside. So I implore you this week, be people. Be people that pursue God. Be people that invite God to come in, take a look and see what's going on, and ultimately set you free from those things. Be encouraged, Kenmore Alliance. We're, we're gonna be together again, it will come. But right now, we've got some inventory to do. 
and we've got some things to clean up. And may we come back a purer church that has had a lot of work done inside. Have a great week.